Today is the last day of May, the 31st, 2018. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Rarathina Sej and these are the stories making headlines in today's bulletin. From Wakiso District, the police have issued security guidelines ahead of the martyrs the celebrations on Sunday at Namugongo. Kampala Metropolitan Police Boss Moses Kaferi say they have deployed thousands of security operatives to handle the day. Kaferi informed all pilgrims and the public that they will be subjected to thorough security checks before accessing the grounds. He stressed that any other items that may pose a threat to the security of the event as determined by the security personnel manning the access points are also barred. Kafir advised pilgrims at the venue to avoid unnecessary movements. He warned those who plan to use the celebrations to engage in criminality not to dare. Moving on to Palisa District, eight villages in Opatueta sub-county in Palisa District that registered for the sanitation fund program have recorded a 100% pit luxury in coverage. They have been recognized and rewarded by the Office of the District Office Healthy Officer. Dr. Godfrey Mulekwa, the District Healthy Officer, said items including water drums, big community saucepans and solar-powered lamps were bought using money from SFP. Mulekwa said currently Palace's pit latrine coverage stands at 88%, but before the sanitation fund program, uh, started in 2011, the coverage was at 32%. Oriada said the sub counties that passed the required laws in ensuring all households had pit latrines were doing well. Yeah, a quick look at what's making headlines in today's copy of the new vision. We have mobile money, social media tax passed. Also in the new vision, we have pension 100. Uh, billion shillings uh, uncounted for and also city festival fi city festival kcc a target two billion shillings for schools still inside the new vision we have the pine murder and dpc kept in touch uh, a student murder file is missing more stories we expect into the scope of the new vision land probe says 13 billion shillings beneficiary linked to big shoots also, government register sports betters. Um, Museveni wants on shoddy work and then district budgets, health edu education take big share. Bukedi Diocese gets Bible College. These are some of the stories you could expect in today's copy of the new vision. Uh, every Thursday we have the business vision and also tenders. And the headlining story today is unclear venture laws, Ugandans. More in the business sec, uh, business pullout. We have creativity needed for growth and survival. And also, you are your number one investment. That is personal ad finance advice from Jeff Royce. Moving on, uh, what is, on what is making headlines in the copy today, Post Bank recognized for driving financial inclusion. Okay. Tender. We have so many pages of tenders here, so your copy of the new vision is uh, something that you should grab today. Um, hmm. Motomat. Motomat is the information every motorist needs to know, and uh, it also comes out every Thursday. The headlining story is the cost of the cheap taxi ride. Oh God, you need to see this. I see a picture here where. Uh, a taxi driver was using a fork as a key. Quite disturbing. But anyway, your health comes first, so mind the taxis that you would like, what that uh, you're going to use uh, to your way to work or to your way to, uh, to your homes. Uh, moving on in the new vision, let's go to the sports docket where we have the tight game, it's the headlining story in the sports docket, and we have 30 days gets more grit. Uh, inside we have Salah, Neymar, Living on Hope, and uh, we have Serena inspired by Black Panther movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, timely boost and memorable. These are some of the headlines under the sports docket. So grab your copy of the New Vision for details of each stories and more into this copy. And remember, the New Vision copy is only 2,000 shillings, and we are proudly the leading daily. 
Howe from your copy of the New Vision. Let us uh, continue looking at what is making headlines uh, across the country. We go to Rukunjiri district where two independent candidates in Rukunjiri women parliamentary by elections have withdrawn, leaving the challenge to the National Resistance Movement and a Forum for Democratic Change parties with each fronting one candidate. The last candidate to cancel her candidature was Sheila Ka Karibete, who was represented by her chief campaigner Amon Biganja at an FDC rally at Kibisoni and Buyanja sub-counties on Tuesday. He added that Chirevete's stepping down was on condition that NRM would compensate her for the money she had used during the campaigns, but NRM had not done so. Colonel Dr. Kizavis J, the former DFDC presidential flag bearer, assured supporters of full protection of their votes in their Kunjiri woman MP by elections. Best just said, the team that supports change was in Rukunjiri and would be spread out to all polling stations to make sure their votes are protected. Finally, still from Lukunjiri District, President Jeremy Seven has threatened to take disciplinary actions against chief administrative officers who failed to monitor construction of government projects in their districts. Museveni, the NRM party chairman, says many upcountry roads were being done poorly due to negligence by the cows and the accounting officers in the districts. Speaking at a campaign rally in Rukunjiri Municipal Stadium on Tuesday evening, Museveni said some of the roads did not even have offshoots to facilitate proper water drainage. Museveni said some of the poorly constructed constructed roads were worked on by the Uganda National Roads Authority, which is responsible for roads, construction and maintenance. He, however, <laughs> blamed the shoddy work more on the district leaders. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video. I am Marathi Nasejai.